you know, like I said, that's why I like debit cards better than credit cards because, like, I had to go rent out a car. So it, they're holding $500, you know, $514 on a credit card, on, on, on a debit card rental. So see, like, so they're, going, they're treating it kind of like a credit card and kind of like a debit card. If I, you know, they're going to pull the money out. They know they're going to get the money. So they already got the money on hold. So that's what I'm basically saying. If you can't pay for something, and you can't pay for it immediately. It's because what is called acceleration of the debt. If you owe money to somebody, you, I don't care if he's in a credit card company. If they say you've got to pay us, you've got to pay us now. But the mortgage companies do the same thing. That's how they got all the farmers from all that farmland back in the 1970s, 1980s. They would get to trick these poor farmers at the same look. You get all this John Deere equipment, a million dollar tractors, and we you pay for all your seeds and... You, we, you just use the value of the land. Your land's worth $10 million. Here, use the John Deere tractor, use this, use this, you know, load it up because you know if you get a brand new John Deere tractor, you're going to make $20 million in, in corn sales, uh, you know, in harvest time. So the farmer's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to double, triple our money. Yeah, yeah. So what would happen is the farmers would get all these $10 million loans. So they'd blow every time of it, you know, like it was going out of style. And then next thing you know, uh, and the, the the money so soon for there's well, some farmers that did well, really well, well, good. Yeah. Let, me finish, right? Let me finish, man. What would happen in June, the banks would say, oh, we got a forecast that you're going to have a drought, so you're not going to have any crops coming in this year. And they're like, what? What do you mean drought? We're not, we don't have no drought. What do you mean? They said, well, we're going to have to accelerate on the debt, so we need all $10 million today. So all the poor farmers are like, we spend all the money on seeds and fertilizers, and we put irrigation systems in and general deer equipment. We don't have any money to give you. We took that $10 million, and we reinvested it in a farm. And they said, oh, that's okay. We'll just foreclose on the farm because you put the land up as collateral. We'll take the farm, all the new equipment, and we'll auction it off. And I said, but where are we going to get pennies on a dollar? Where are we going to get, you know, you know, uh, a couple of thousand dollars because nobody's got the cash this time of year. They said, oh, well, so then the banks put all the farmland for pennies on a dollar. You see, that's, how, that's exactly, it's called acceleration of the debt. So that's why it's better to have a debit card than a credit card because if they want to accelerate the payment on a debt, the money's already there. They can't take something from you. They can't drag you into court and say, well, you know what, you can't pay on this credit card this month? No. Well, we'll just take your car as collateral. We'll just take that and we'll auction it off tomorrow. Well, you only get 50 bucks for it. Well, no, that's fine. We only get 50 bucks. Got 50 bucks for your car, you still owe us $4,500 on a $5,000 debt. It's like, hey, this is bullshit. And that's exactly what happens to farmers. So that's why I say you got to be careful about the acceleration of debt clause and all kinds of credit arrangements. So if a credit card company gives you a credit card, they can accelerate the payment on the debt which means like 24 hours or 72 hours. But it's either 24 hours or 72 hours. you got to make payment full and complete. So you got to be careful when you when you establish credit with somebody that the person doesn't pull a fucking acceleration of that claim on you.